Hello, it's Wednesday, so we are live from Old Town Quilt Shop in Orchid, California, right here on the Central Coast. So we have new fabric to show you, but while we wait for people to get on, we'll give you our information, our website and email and phone number. So you can reach us and shop online. And then our hours here in the store are Monday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., then Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturday 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are closed on Sunday. So that's a little about us. <laughs> so do we have a few people? Okay, well then let's get started because we did get some fabric in and we have new projects and just fun things. Okay, so. Let's start here with chicken wire. Chicken wire is always popular. This is, you know, white with the, the black wires. And this is from Lorelei Designs. And it's 13, 15 a yard. So this, you know, works with <laughs> any farm things that you wanna do, especially with chickens. <laughs> okay, and then we have another black and white called Harlequin Diamonds. We wished that we'd had this for <laughs> one of our displays, but we didn't have it yet. Um, but this is also from Lorelei Designs, 13, 15 a yard. This sets off um, CAFE fabrics really well, or you know any, any brights, it's just a, a lot of fun. So these are in our black and whites. And I happen to love black and whites, so we get them. <laughs> and then, uh, the third one that we got from Lorelei Design is called Elegant Scroll, and this makes a lovely um, background, especially if you combine it with some other um, backgrounds. It's, it's, you know, a lot of things, it's kind of fun to um, combine several different similar low volume fabrics as your background that makes it a little less boring. <laughs> but anyway, it's called Elegant Scroll from Lorelei Designs at 13 15 a yard. So these are in the all, all the new fabric and, and black and whites. Then from Robert Kaufman, we got this one called Pearl Light. And this is in our Christmas and it is a um, metallic, but it's not a, I don't know. It's, it's a fairy frost. It's yeah. A fairy frost it's yeah, similar. yeah, it's more similar to a fairy frost. So this is, um, you know, Pearl, it's, you know, a gray with the with the silvery, and it's called Pearl Light from Robert Kaufman, and it's thirteen forty five a yard. Let's see. I don't know. Metallic. It's hard kinda, to see. Kinda, maybe if I. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You kind of moves it back and forth. Yeah. You can kind of see. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's a you know that's a metallic, and then also from Robert Kaufman, we got a a kids uh, fabric, part of a kids line called. Alphabetosaurus. <laughs> it's a new dinosaur that they've <laughs> discovered. <laughs> but anyway, I can't name all the the, dy the all the. Okay. I only know dinosaurs. Okay, I can't name all the species of dinosaurs, but um, probably a lot of the kids out there can because they do they do learn these in school. But anyway, this was really cute, and then we got this um, to go along with it the little green, they have to have something to eat, so <laughs> a little greenery for them. And then their little footprints on, the, on black and multicolored. So this would be cute as a three yard quilt. Um, you know, obviously if you do this, this is directional, so you're gonna wanna cut it this way, but, um, and the salvage is on this end, so you'd be cutting the other way, but really, really cute. This would make a, a cute kid's quilt. Just, we like the happy dinosaurs rather than the ones that look real, real. <laughs> so, Alphabetosaurus, 13, 15 a yard from Robert Kaufman. So these are all the lucky things that, that got off the boats out there, in the, out there in the harbor and into trucks and delivered. So one, uh, one more line from Moda Fabrics from me and my sister designs. And this one is called Petal Power. Petal with a T, so flower, <laughs> kind of a flower power thing. 
So it's a typical uh, me and my sister designs, just happy, fun, vibrant colors. Not as dark as what it shows on the camera. Oh, okay. So it's it's brighter than what you're seeing on the camera. So this one has the the aquas and the purples and the lime greens, just really fun little flowers in I don't know what they're, they're what they're in, but they're all circled in something. <laughs> and then you have the the petals of the flowers and multicolor with a, a pink dot in the background, then you on on white, and then we have it on aqua with the two tone aqua um, background. So very, you know, just very pretty, happy. And and the me and my sisters, their old lines always coordinate with the new lines. The colors, you know, work well together. So then this is a smaller um, flower the smaller petals on pink and they're white with you know darker backgrounds and then we got the white on white of the of the same flower that was the pink I don't know how well it shows mm -hmm. up there yeah, I can see it. okay and then uh, the big flower again with the pink background and the and the darker pink so all the happy flowers that just pop out of there and of course we got a dot you can't resist and it's kind of an ombre dot so it goes from one color to you know one color to another so this fabulous border fabulous binding it's just fun or you know if you're looking for a particular color you can cut pieces out of that particular section of it so you've got you know the pinks and the the yellows and oranges and the greens and the the teals and the purples and the pinks and it just goes it just repeats so very fun a lot of people like the ombre and this was just <laughs> I mean, it's an ombre dot. Come on, it's beautiful. <laughs> then you have the little flowers again, that, but these are multicolor on a white background. And then we always love the diagonal stripes. These make fabulous bindings. They're also fun in the blocks, but you know, it just makes life easy if the stripe is already on the diagonal for your binding. And then just a nice um, teal. It's a check on point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a diagonal check. I don't know. Sometimes you, you're at a loss for words how to describe it. <laughs> but hopefully a picture says a thousand words and so I don't have to. And I think this came in last week, right? Did this yes. come in before? Yes. So sometimes, well, not sometimes, nearly always we get the um, pre-cuts either before or after the bolts. They never come together. So we do have the five inch squares of of uh, pedal power. So, you know, we've done, what's the name of that quilt? Scrappy Squares. Scrappy Squares and in that, in yeah. And Stacy wants to redo it in this. It really, just a, a fast and easy kids quilt. This, this turns out really well. It'd be cute as the border. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, I love all the so kind of wonderful stuff. So, a couple things. We already showed you the pattern for Posh Jacko, which we got last week. So the pattern came in and I made the sample. So this is part of their Posh series, which they all come out to be, they all use the mini quick curve ruler and they all come out to be about 28 by 38 That's inches. Oh, you got the, okay. <laughs> that goes with that one. But the mini quick curve is what you use for Posh Jacko. They also recommend that you use the uh, Sew Square 4 inch, which if you have never done any of these, that would help tremendously. If you have done them before, you can square up with your mini quick curve ruler, and that's what I did for this one. But, um, but the instructions in this particular pattern are for squaring up with the Sew Square 4 inch. Okay, and this is how it makes up or at least how we made it up, or I made it up. <laughs> so anyway, this is Posh Jacko, and <laughs> we're, <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. We're, <laughs> we're setting off our own bell here. <laughs> but anyway, this is Posh Jacko. So he's here in time for Halloween, and it makes up pretty quickly, so you can get one done. Can you get it quilted? I don't know. <laughs> but. Not if you quilt it as much as I do, but <laughs> but anyway, very it it's really cute and you know I'm I'm really loving their 
their posh patterns and they have a new one that's coming out and we just ordered it so posh frosty will be arriving soon probably next week i won't have it done it ships november 1st oh it ships november 1st okay so i won't have it done that when it first arrives however i will get it done and we did order the, pattern. And we did order the posh uh, frosty patterns so posh Fro posh jacko is here already posh frosty's on his way <laughs> okay and then they also came out with a um, new book called The Wonderful Curves, quilt sampler book, and that uses the Wonder Curve ruler. So they have three curve rulers, the original um, quick curve ruler, then the mini quick curve ruler, and also the Wonder Curve ruler. Hang on, Rose needs to see the backing on Posh. Just let her know oh. that this is not available. Okay. So the backing, somebody wanted to see the backing on Posh, and I just used pumpkins from a couple years ago. This was at my house. We don't have this particular fabric, but we have, we have similar fabrics. Okay. Okay, so back to the Wonder Curve book. So this uses the Wonder Curve ruler, and it's a sampler. So it has 30 blocks in it using the Wonder Curve ruler, so that it's all different blocks and it shows you how to do them. And then it also has, um, in the back, then it has um, 14 different projects. And just as a little FYI, <laughs> I'm going to do this one, and it will be a class probably in February. So just a heads up if you're planning ahead, this, this particular quilt will be a class. Let's see if I can find it in the book. So it's this one. It's called Whirly, Whir, Whirly Gig Recollections or something, reflections. but reflections, we're just calling it Whirly Gig because <laughs> that's enough of a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, it uses two different blocks in the book. So it's, it's, um, and so several of the quilts that, that are featured in here use two different blocks. So this one uses, oh, that's why they call it that, the reflection block. <laughs> And the whirly gig, <laughs> so you just put it's putting those two blocks together, and uh, clearly you can do that with with several of them, or you can do a sampler, which I don't like sampler quilts personally, so I'm not going to be doing one. But I probably will do some of these other samples out of the book because they're fun. But anyway, this is the Wonderful Curves book, and remember, if you buy it on our website online, in the uh, coupon section you need to put in book 30 B O O K 30 to get the 30% discount. When you come in the store we will um, discount that automatically and this book uh, retails for $22.99 so it's $22.99 less 30%. Okay so that is tonight's showing of new fabric and uh, etc. We are working on the calendar for next year you know, we've kind of, normally it would have been done long ago. We'd almost be working on 2023. <laughs> However, as we all know, life, life is crazy with COVID and the restrictions and whatever. So, you know, we've kind of held off, but we are working on it. We are putting classes in. So we are hopeful that everything goes forward um, as we fill up our calendar and so we are, you know, we are planning classes. Um, so look for the calendar to be revealed soon. <laughs> All righty. Any questions? Okay. Well, thank you for those of you who join in live. And I know many of you don't. So we will, um, but you do um, see us later. So the, that's all good. There, there's two people anniversary follow. It has a number two next to it. So I don't know if it's the second anniversary following us. Oh. But Rose... F and Rebecca C. Okay, so don't I don't know. Rose F and Rebecca C. It says that this is your second anniversary of following us. So I don't know what that means, but you and know. Carol P is a milestone follower. Oh, Carol P is a milestone follower. I, you know. So Tracy H. And Tracy H. Wow, you guys are, you, you guys rock. We don't know what it means, but <laughs> good for <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
We're done making fools of ourselves, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.